Okay, so hi guys. So in this next example, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and simplify this complex rational expression, right? So this looks tricky, but you have to take it one step at a time, okay? So the idea is you have to simplify the top and then simplify the bottom and divide them together. So um, so basically, I'm going to first look at this part here. And I'm going to write it down. So I have A over B minus B over A, right? Using the idea that... Um, that a over b so if i have a over b let's 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 do it this way if i have a over b plus or minus or let, let's do it this way actually i'm going to do u over v plus or minus v over u is going to be u squared plus or minus v squared over uv, right? Or vu, however you want to put it. So this would be, we're going to do a squared minus b squared over ab. That's what goes in the numerator. So that means that this was going to be a, a squared minus b squared over ab. And then it's being divided. So when you have a, when you have a fraction like this, this big, big fraction means that it's being divided, okay? It is being divided by a plus b over ab. So if you think about like numbers, three fourths divided by two thirds, that's three fourths divided by two thirds, right? So think of think of this this as the division symbol. The large fraction symbol is a division symbol, okay? And then the smaller, the smaller, uh, the smaller lines, the smaller fraction symbols are just fractions, right? So, um, we have, so a squared minus b squared can be rewritten as a plus b times a minus b, right? And then we have over a b. And now we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of this. The reciprocal just means flip it over. So a b over a plus b. Now we're going to bring it all together. a plus b times a minus b times a b over um, a b times a plus b. Now, this simplifies as, so we have a, b cancels out, and a plus b cancels out. So this simplifies as a minus b, and this is your final answer, okay? So the idea is when you're, when you're simplifying complex rational expressions like this, the big bar, the big line, the big fraction symbol basically... Um, it basically tells you that it's being divided. So two fractions are being divided. And, and, and the top part, you have to simplify it to make it into one fraction because we don't like doing this with subtracting two fractions like this. We need to make it into one fraction and then divide it out by the other fraction. 
So I really hope that helps, guys. Um, I'm doing my best to explain it. Um, if anybody has any questions, please let me know. And please like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.